right, traders, here's our portfolio, and I'll show you what I'm looking at at the market open. Right here, the euro yen. We have a channel right here. I'm going to be looking for a channel breakout. Will it go to the upside or the downside? Not sure. We're getting stuck here right around the 132.50s. If this structure holds, we'll definitely come up here and retest the 134.25s. And then perhaps continue, look at our higher time frame, continue this rally after this massive sell-off the last few weeks on the four-hour chart. And let's look back at this one-hour chart. So I'm looking to trade within this channel if we rally and if we continue to the downside, a breakout down to retest support right here about the 130.50s. That's the Euro Yen. I'm looking at the Aussie Yen bullish divergence right here. Oscillator moving up, price moving down. Potential rally here up to the 382. Look left. What do you know? Structure right in that zone here. Support becoming resistance. Kiwi Yen, same analysis for the most part. Sore thumb swing to swing. Price moving down. Oscillator moving up. Looking again for a confirmation candle pattern here, traders. And then looking for price to test in this 382 zone. We have some consolidation that took place. We'll have to see if we have this bullish momentum continue. And then back up to the 618 some support potentially becoming resistance and then I'm sure we're gonna come back up if we do rally and get hung up right here at the 786 where this channel occurred early part of last week also looking at the Euro Aussie here traders one hour chart bearish divergence price moving up oscillator moving down coming out of this overbought zone and sore thumb swing to swing Let's get it in there and at the 382, any structure? Oh, we've got a consolidation zone historically a couple weeks ago. And at the 618, more prominently, we have these areas of resistance possibly becoming support. And you can see here, we've tested and tested and tested. And we'll see if we can break below and close below this 382 at the 144.80s. But I'm looking for a short sell there. And on the pound Aussie, same thing. We've got somewhat of a double top here. Oscillator moving down. Price staying steady. And we'll pull in our fibs swing to swing longer term. And again, we've tested the 382 level structure at the 618 a little bit before that right in the 50 area right below the 50 percent retracement we've got consolidation there but that's what I'm looking at at the market open so three potential trades on the yen crosses and two potential trades on the Aussie crosses at the moment you can see here we're channeling on the Aussie dollar and on the Kiwi dollar actually quite similar to these yen crosses so we might have some potential trades here if these indeed rally against the dollar I sent you guys an email about an exciting development over at Trade Empowered with my friends Jason and Todd regarding their Project 221 make sure you access the Project 221 information using the link I've provided in this weekly market analysis email and I will post it under this video on the web page as well. Have a great week, traders in the markets, and as always, let's stay focused, follow our rules, and I'll see you next time.